Evening everyone. We had a, sp a special friend come into the gym and have a workout on Saturday, Tristan O'Brien, and it was a real pleasure having him in the gym. Tristan has won this heavyweight powerlifting title and has also in recent times won South Africa's strongman competition. He is recovering from a serious knee injury had and, uh, obviously we wish him all the best and we will like to see him moving forward and you know taking part again and supporting him and the video is a bit long but be strong it's worth the watch um, watch it to the end there's a lot of interesting discussion in there um, topics that you don't see in an average workout but yes, very interesting. It was an absolute pleasure, Saturday morning. Tristan, what's your name? It's O'Brien. So you also Irish? I am. I am. <laughs> and Garth too, he's not so Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, he sure. Yeah, but here Afrikaans part is not here. Obviously, clamps are two point five, huh? That's that's seventy five. Yeah. Decent. Okay. Five, and then we go up. I think we do 15s. That will take us to what? Uh, 105? You want 105 on the ball? I don't have 15 kilo plates, so 10 and a 5. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to do one more set here and then we can move up. Okay. And then it's 120 for. Today's quite a lot there. Three by three from 120, so it's very light. <laughs> so nothing over the top. with this training many years ago. Oh really? Yeah. Green. And the green's a 10. Okay. And the white's a 5. God's asking him if I'm here. If I'm here. He knows where the place is. He's been here before, of course. Tell him to come. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Given you were always saying I'm the strongest in the gym, but I think I've been proven now. Oh, that's that's a short sure. story. <laughs> I'm glad I'm 80 years of age now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Strength is perspective. I've been at the top, I've been at the bottom. It comes and goes. One small injury and you right back at the start again. Tristan, when did you become involved in the powerlifting? Um, so, I used to play uh, Obviously I played a lot of rugby, 
as a lot of us do. And I, I grew to really enjoy the strength element yeah. in the gym. And then I met somebody by the name of Buyani Mseswa, who they used to call the world's strongest Zulu. And I started training with him. Um, that was in, I was still in school. Mm. I was like in matric, basically. So call it 2005, I started in the gym. Right at the bottom, like, weights just seemed impossible back then. Yeah, because I was training a hard team north of the town of King. Okay. Till 2006. No, I wouldn't have. You went. I went wouldn't have been competing. No, 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 but I know. Well, uh, uh, I mean, you know, Wittstein and all those. Yes. Yeah, uh, oh, they, they were there. Uh, I just, I just, I just. So. Those are in pounds, that side. Yeah. We need to get to. At what weight do you want? So if we put a 20 on. It's 115. 115 with the clamps. Mm. Okay, let's do that. Cool. So this will be my push press working weight. Obviously, okay. because of the injury, I'm having to relearn a lot of basic movements. One of which is a push press because you know obviously learning that explosive movement all over again is yeah. it's been difficult mm. just now i've got smaller weights if you want to add it up to 120 i heard you talking about i did yeah i didn't think you had do you yeah. have 2.5 yeah if you've got 2.5s i'll go straight there are these ones 2.5 the the bigger bigger of the yellow one. yes perfect yeah then i can go straight to 120. So do you know Tristan, have you met before? No, Kevin? no. no. Okay. But I have to say I have uh, heard of you. I, I, uh, you were SA champion at one stage. Yeah, with the I've been uh, SA strongest man. I've been SA powerlifting champion. I've done a bit of all of it really. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what God says. Uh, God's son's about to fight overseas, so God's in front of the TV. Oh, he's watching. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, I like your knee wrap. Oh, that's in for rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Only original people know what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone else has now I use it for loading up a toilet throws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. So I've got to do three by three on 120. Okay. And then four by eight on 100. Okay. Like I said, it's a, it's a much lighter day today. We're just getting used to that movement all over again. Tristan, you're able to squat in that now? Yeah, yeah I've got full, uh, full mobility, but I'm trying to be very intelligent on how I build up. It's no, not a- No, of course, you can't just jump yeah, into this so, movement. Mm -hmm. For instance, I've deadlifted 300, like I said, and that was nine months from walking. So now we're gonna do a 16 week block focused only on legs. So the movements are leg dominant. That's, you see the push press here. Then we'll go back to deadlift after that. I mean, this week's deadlift was 255 kgs for 30 reps. Six sets of five on 255, yeah. which is incredible volume but it puts the strain on the legs not really the back because the back can hold it hmm.
Bitte. Formas weg, sit on my coach. Is uh, Damien uh, uh, doing a fighting in his. Um, Muay Thai. Oh, Muay Thai. Yeah, I think. Not sure where he is. Oh, Lord. Can I ask you just to film this one set? Sure, sure. Um, I have to send it to my coach. Just hit the. Okay, it's recording, so you just need to point it at me. Okay. No, no, other way. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I need a belt. Tristan, who's coaching you? Uh, Terence Bosman. And I'll explain. There's a very specific reason I chose him. He's a youngster. I actually brought him into the sport. A oh, strong man. Yeah, but I'll explain to you my actual logic and reasoning behind it. So the... Yeah, just hit the red button. The reason by getting him is that uh, he, he knows me very well. Okay. And I feel it doesn't matter what level you achieve, you need to be accountable to somebody. Okay. Somebody that can call you on your bullshit, you know? Yeah, you know, that's too much or work a bit harder. Okay. Oh. Just in those trophies behind you. He's all rich boxes trophies. Really? Yeah, he won the well, he was one of the original Mr. Universes. And uh, his son phoned me up during the lockdown and asked me how I'd like, I'd like to have his trophies here in the gym. I said, oh, what a pri privilege, you know. So That's... I went and collected them and made a bit of a display here. <laughs> that's, that's history, huh? It is. That's history. Mm. Yo. That is history. Obviously Arnie trained with him for a while as well. Yeah. Where was Reg based out of? Reg, Reg, Reg was English. Okay. Uh, and he married a South African woman. Yeah. And then he moved here in 1958. And he lived in Morningside. Uh, okay. Ravonia. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, well, he died in 2007, but, uh, but he was there all the time. I mean, he used to pop into my gym in town often. And we used to, we went overseas together a few times. We, we were very much involved in that's, competitions and all that's sorts incredible. of things. Absolutely incredible. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Instagram? I'm supposed to be, and I don't, but I don't know. I you must know what to do with that. No, no, no. It's more for people to tag you and them. Yes. You know, so it's like after today's session to tag the various videos to say thank you. Okay. Let's see if I can arrange uh, a deadlift session here in the week. And then I'll go collect Garth. And I'm not sure if you remember Matthew Hallenby. Giant from Gladiators. Oh yes, Giant. Yes, yes. of course. I know, I know Matthew. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'll bring him. Is he still involved in? Uh, no, not Gladiators. He owns TNT no. Mercury. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, no, of course I know Matthew. He had that magazine at Wayne's Gym. Yes, yes, yes. And I also trained him there at Wayne's Gym. No, he and Garth used to be at Wayne's Gym. Yeah, they still... They're inseparable, the two of them. Really? Absolutely inseparable, yeah. I saw I saw Matthew last actually at at Reg's funeral. Oh really? Yeah. No, no, no. They must drag him out here. Hmm. I must get him out here. Let's see if I can drag Etienne Smith here. Etienne's uh, ex nine times South Africa's strongest man. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'll see which one of the guys which of the guys would like to come through. Oh it'd be fantastic. It really would be, I mean. It would be an honour. Oh, yeah. Sorry? It would be an honour. No. no. Of course it would be an honour. 
I say I've got the boy here, I've got the platform here, I've got yeah. <laughs> No, don't worry, I'll, I'll make it happen. <laughs> I think it's great. Is Matthew still training in that? They area? still train. Because he was tall and leanish sort of thing. Yeah, no, he, I think he's like 160 kgs at the moment. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I was losing the weight, they were gaining the weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, need to get to... 100 on the dot. So that's 70. Okay. A 10. We put a 10 two and, and a half. Two, two and a half. That's yeah. it. Okay. Okay. Let me get it for you. But Garth thought he was in the park. Yeah. Garth will never go anywhere. This is uh And Matthew where's he stay? Matthew stays uh you know Linwood Ridge, the shopping centre. Linwood Ridge the shopping centre. So if you travel down Linwood, right. just after the freeway you get that massive shopping centre on the left. The, um the, just after the freeway, that's yes. lengthy. Yes. So he stays close to there. I must have been there that I saw about a few weeks ago. I was... Uh, I went, do you know that road that goes past the CSIR? Yes. And I was turning right to go over King's Highway. And uh, I hear, pop, 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 pop. It's Garth and he's... He's blocked all the traffic coming up the road just to wave and say hello. That, that sounds like God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm stuffed though. Well, that is a serious shoulder workout. Eh? It hasn't even started yet. I've got... Oh. The workout is... Push press, three by three and 120. Strict press, four sets, eight and 100. Seated dumbbell, shoulder press, four sets, 12. Uh, that's going to be a, pro prob uh, a, a probably a, a problem. What sort of weight do you... No, I don't use very heavy. Huh? Yeah. The heaviest I've got is 80 pound dumbbells. So what's that, like 35? 36. Yeah, that's 100%. Um, upright rows, dips. Uh, tricep extensions, uh, tricep push downs. So it's a fair session, it's just a lot of weight moved. Not particularly heavy, because I've got no, you know, you, trying to train in waves, essentially. Oh. I've just turned 36. Are you still young? Yeah. But Garth must be about 20 years older than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think once this is in your blood, it's in your blood till they bury you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm 75 and uh, I started training at 14 years of age. And, uh, and here you are. Mm. I, I, I hardly think I missed a scheduled workout. I hardly think I missed a... Yeah. I've slowed and down yet, into training. Uh, and yet... I promise you, if you stand next to your colleagues and peers, you look completely different, you know, in the sense that it uh, keeps you young, keeps you moving, keeps your bones strong. I think, I think, I think it's all a nonsense we talk in the gym, you know, that keeps you young. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, in all honesty, just for this, you popping around you having a workout, that, that makes me younger than you. <laughs> and you talk about all, all these guys coming in having a digit. Hey, 
I'd be five years younger by <laughs> yeah, for sure. Can I ask you to film the set again for me, please? Sure. Thank you. It's filming as you oh, My upper back is quite tight from deadlifts. Now, with these presses, must also work your upper back. Yeah, because I press a lot out of my upper back. Yeah. So it's, this really engages you. Yes, originally. Okay. Originally. Hmm. Just such a lucky little spot, man. I'm so, I'm so happy you've got these plates. <laughs> it's a really nice setup. I mean, ah. Uh, Bought a set of 45 kg original deep dish plates, York. Yes. It cost me an arm and a leg because they're the original pair. The York 45 pound or 45 kg? Kg, yeah. Yeah. They're 100 kilos. Yeah, yeah it's. Oh, 100 pounds. 100 pounds set, yeah. 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 Hmm. Well, York, that was the original weight, the Olympic weight. So where would you work out normally? So or? what I did was uh, I, I spent my younger years in a gym. As I grew older, I started collecting my own equipment. So what I've done now is I kitted out a mate's garage. Okay. Um, he's about a kilometer from me, just because I don't have the space. Okay. And I train predominantly out of there. But uh, so here is not a commercial gym. Or no, anything. we've done the commercial thing and they tried every which way to get us kicked out. Oh, well, I'm sure they don't want you at home. Yeah, and there used to be a, a group of about 18 of us, 15 of us. So now you've got 18 guys oh, deadlifting okay. 300 kgs. We used to train at the woman's locker room, developed a crack in the ceiling because we deadlifted above it. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then they started a petition to get us kicked out. Then yeah. offered the top 10 strongest oaks in the country. A membership so we all went we did two sessions they told us no not for now <laughs> not for us <laughs> so. do they have enough weight for you then um do you know what it is when we when you're training to compete no but when you're in the block like i am now where it's more about getting the volume in making sure the work's being done then you're 100 percent. it's fine you know this mm. so my next block the goal is 350 on the deadlift and 170 stripped on the bar. Yeah. So that's my next block goal. Mm. The first block was 160 on the bar, which I did, and then it was 300 on the deadlift. Okay. Um, so the next block will now automatically be that weight. So I mean, I can show you. Sorry. No, don't stress. This is the competition here. This is, this is 150 kgs. Where is it? So I got them to assist me with the roll. I don't want to put any more strain. Yes. Good grief. Yeah, and then this is the, the deadlift. So now, you know, you hit your numbers for the first block mm. and you start again. Mm. You start the whole process again, building to heavier. 
But given they we have two champions, eh? One SS bodybuilding champion and one strong man. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, I need to... Uh, yeah. I was I also a SA powerlifting champion. Yeah, you see. <laughs> I was. Yeah. Everyone has a history, yeah? Eh? I love yeah. it. I just think it's it's nice to be able to capture something like that. No, uh, it's not sure. I was also a weightlifting. Eh? That's okay. incredible because weightlifting is a very. I was many years ago when I was still a schoolboy. I was weightlifting. That's a very unique uh, form of lifting. That's yeah. difficult. Yeah, it is. Hmm. You, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of. Uh, so what's the difference? With the, with the weightlifting and that. Well, the, way, the, the, the difference is weightlifting is you lifting weights above your head and that, oh, I, uh, uh, I mean, as uh, Tristan did the military press there mm. with, uh, with weightlifting in the old days, they, yes. they moved it out, you used to have to clean it from, so the, from the floor and then, and then press it. And Sean, as I say, these days I'm doing lift weighting. Yes, I know. I'm very <laughs> that? Lift weighting? Yeah. Our car was stolen the other day. So now <laughs> you waited for a lift. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. You don't want this film there? Sorry? set for my coach. Okay. That what I send him is what we base next week's increase on. Yes. Okay. Well if you miss anything you can send him the YouTube link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna phone guys. Mania Collins. Hi, Good thanks yourself. Back at time. I'm standing here with a man that knows you very well. Ah, uh, Mr. Kevin. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Kev? Are you on my own speaker? Yeah. Hey, guys, how's it? I'm well in yourself, Kevin. How's Damien going? Uh, he's, uh, I'm sitting waiting for his fight to come up now. Oh, Kevin. I see. Um, yeah, it's still, a, it's still a couple of fights to go now, yeah. Okay. So listen, Garth. Yeah. I don't know if you're keen, but I thought I would come collect you and Matt or whoever's keen from the TNT group and we come to a deadlift session here this week in the evening. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool by me. I thought it would that's be... That's cool by me. We've just, got to, we've just got to check days though. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'll yeah. confirm with everyone. But I thought it would yeah, be lacquer. Okay. Awesome, God. Thanks so much, man. That'll be great. Okay, cool. Cheers, Thanks, man. Okay, Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, God. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Thanks. There we go. See how God trimmed his beard a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so yeah, what we'll do is I'll round up everyone and uh, I'll bring everyone this week. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Thanks. Yeah, with the deadlift session, I don't know. You know, there's equipment here for everyone, so they can choose what they want to do. I'll deadlift. Okay. Um, do they all train with you at your place? No, I train by myself. Okay. Yeah, I train by myself. It's not always easy. Mm. I'll be honest, because especially when things get heavier, it becomes of quiet. Mm. Of course. Mm. Um, but I try. I try on heavier days to slot myself in with other people's training schedules. Okay. Just for that extra. Yeah, standing by and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's. You know, when you train like this, the 5x5s five five and the 6x5s five at a fairly heavier weight, it becomes mentally quite fatiguing because you've got to get yourself ready, down. Ready, down. 
So to have people in your corners, it's a big thing. Oh, my shoulders are burning. Mm. Right, let's try to get through another set. After these two sets, it's all downhill from there, at least it's dumbbells and... <laughs> Tristan, where do Garthen and train then? Um, I think they train a bit at uh, Plan Fitness. Okay. Yeah, it's just up the road from them. And they're not interested in the, the heavy weights anymore. Oh, oh okay, so they, they're not training so heavy then. No. Okay. It's like a cockroach, Garth. You can't kill him. <laughs> he, just, he just keeps coming back. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's fantastic, oh God. And really. <laughs> yeah, I know he is. Mm. <sighs> yes, I'm burning. <laughs> right. This is 29.5. Yes, okay, I think I'll do that. We go up in two and a half kilos, that's 32, and these are 34, and these are 36s. You want to sit? Um, yeah, I'm going to bring a bench now. I was just trying to figure out where I want to go now. You want the back support? Yeah, now. have we got? Yes. Can I use this one? Yes. Okay, I'll take it sure. this side. Take it this side. Tristan's got a slight, uh, um, a slight. That's as upright as it comes. Oh, that's fine. Let's just. Nationally, which I've done. There's not as much money as people think. Okay. Yeah. At all. Right. It's dumbbell for about 12. This is 29, huh? Yes. Is this the same one? Same weight, yeah.
kill me on a Saturday, man. You trying to kill me you, uh, yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wonder if I should just superset. Uh, so you got one more set to go over there? Yeah, I've got one more there. I've got three here. I've got upright rows. Which <laughs> Brutalizing yourself like this. Tristan, I've passed three this morning I was in your training. Really? I really. really. <laughs> Can't match that. My wife's on her way here now. So my wife was a, a junior world pilot thing champion as well. Really? Yeah. Oh, very little. She weighs 50 kgs, oh. but very strong. She doesn't do it anymore. But that's where we met, was through her training. My wife came third in the universe in 1986. Shit. That's big, huh? Yeah. That's very big. She refuses to have photos of herself here in the gym. So. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I came fourth and she came third and everyone wants to know. She beat you. <laughs> <laughs> you say she did, but you know, we're a power couple. <laughs> <laughs> seen a, a super car. I haven't seen a superhuman train yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the app I use to keep track of what's going on. I see it. Just yeah. calculates my volume and gives me graphs at the end of every month to see how I've moved in terms of weight. Okay. So it measures everything according to either intensity, volume, all weight. So if you go higher than you've ever gone, that's a PB. Yeah. If you move more tonnage, that's a PB. If you get through a certain amount of tonnage and a certain amount of weight, that's intensity. Yeah. So it gives you that reading. Okay. PB personal best. Sorry? PB yeah. is personal yeah, best. Yeah, so you know the bottom line is you're never going to stay in a, a constant line of progression. The body can't handle that. Eventually you're going to crack somewhere, you're going to fail. So you start to change it up according to, you know, okay, so this block I'm moving up to a heavier weight. But the next block, I'm trying to do a certain weight there for a number of reps. That's the goal. That's the volume block, you know, so you have to change it up. I mean, it's kind of the west side barbell approach where it's like, okay, you can only do a max deadlift every so often. So what if one week you're doing a max deadlift and the next week you're doing a heavy weight on a hex bar deadlift? So it's the same kind of movement, but they're changing it up the whole time to never put that severe load in the same place. Okay. So Tristan, you use that x thing then? Yes, very much. I use it weekly. Okay. Yeah. I use it weekly. Sean, so on to sniff Not wrong with what, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was for the guys who didn't want to do the dead no, so the way I use that predominantly currently is because it simulates as close as I can get to a leg press okay. so to add extra tension I don't go heavy I'll go 100 kgs but I'll lift like this yes so you're using okay. your legs yeah. so you one leg at a time that's it and it's quite slow it's not me pushing you Tristan no I know <laughs> I know <laughs> Oh, I also brought you a shirt, Kevin, for your gym. Thank you. I brought, but it, it looks nice. It's uh, 
South Africa's strongest beast. I thank you. Hang that up somewhere. Bianca? Yes, Ronka. Yeah. Yes, so I'm a key account manager for the same company. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Is it the first time you met your husband today? Yes, yeah. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> I'm on fire, Kevin. Fire. I'm here to go play golf later, I don't think that's happening. You play golf too? I live for golf, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I live for golf. <laughs> hey, you mustn't forget the boons play the stormers this afternoon. <laughs> you know, that doesn't bother you. Sorry? That doesn't bother you. Right? No. And about eight years ago, well, it's eight years that I've been here. But uh, before that, we'd been planning for quite a while to uh, move out of town. We'd, uh, we, I would have liked to have built a personal training gym here on the house and that. And then uh, um, my leases came to an end over there. So we built on here and we moved out here. I sold the gym, all the equipment. I took what I wanted and I'm actually Sorry, I didn't take a little bit more than I've got here. You I'm know, with I you. Tons of equipment there and that. And, uh, but anyway, I'm here. <laughs> and I enjoy it. It's like heaven on earth, like I said. Of course, three in the morning I can train. Uh, I have people here during the week. So one guy pitches up here quarter past four in the morning for a workout. So. Yes. <laughs> That last set over there is weighing on my mind. <laughs> Are you done with that? No, I got one more there. One the, more. This, I can muscle through this. That, that's tough. That's tough. That's very tough. Go back there. I'll force myself to do it. Just force it. the system, you know? You eventually get caught out. <laughs> Chelsea, which area are you living? Uh, we stay in Surrey East. Papa, don't. In Surrey East. In Surrey East. Yeah, partially, partially. I've got to be careful because I don't want to ever collapse. So, 
But, but you got... Uh, yeah, I go wide. Okay, yeah. okay. Almost, I see your handles go out and then straight. So I'll grab that straight point. Okay. 10, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you... I can't put this on. Eh? Are you alright today? Yeah. Do you might want to introduce your wife for us, Justin? No, 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 and, uh, no. no. <laughs> titles, yeah, will, will. And the titles that she's had? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's my wife, Chelsea O'Brien. She has been a junior head of. Junior, yes. Junior South African powerlifting champion. She's competed internationally. Um, what's your top weight, back? It was a 145 dead, a 110 squat, and a 72.5 bench. Which is all well above her body weight. Impressive, yeah. 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 And the bench, I would say bench would have been your strongest movement, huh? Mm. But you come very much from a, like a calisthenics that was your yeah. so body weight movement. Yeah. Yeah, no, bench was definitely her strong point. Um, yeah, babe, you were good. I What's think you need to stand there <laughs> next to your wife. <laughs> Give us some perspective. Have a, have a, a <laughs> and Kevin, you want to stand on the no, other no, side? No, no, no. No. <laughs> All three champs here yeah, on one, <laughs> <laughs> one camera roll. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was telling Tristan how, how exciting he's making our life with him popping in every time and everything. Oh, good. <laughs> no, you just got to spread the word. You guys always like going places and cleaning different spots. The gospel. Yeah, three jumps. Oh, has he? Yeah. Oh, okay. His daughter and our daughter used to work together, so he used to okay. drop her off from work when. Yeah. Proper dip, sure. Almost every freak now. He's a big man. You also have trained with me. Really? I'm not lying. 1975 in the head uh, Olympia here at UNICEF. Yes, yes, yes. I, oh, one night I had to go and fetch him at 11 o'clock at night to come and have a workout. Yeah. <laughs> one more set. You're going to end up there. <laughs> I'll reach. Some guy in the gym in Joburg some years ago, just before he died, some guy was doing press downs wrong or something, and I read, said, listen, you should be trying to do it like this. And the guy runs to the owner of the gym, he says, tell that old man to leave me alone, what does he know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the nature of these oaks, is that they, uh, they <clears throat> believe they know better. Yeah. And uh, the sad truth is they don't. No, of course. Hmm. Oh. I'm not going to make it out of this gym at this point.
Tristan? Chelsea and Tristan O'Brien. Yeah. Both South African champions. <laughs> Chelsea with the powerlifting and world champion. Tristan in the strongman and the powerlifting too. Yeah. We're so, so glad to have had you at our gym and that. And we hope you enjoyed the workout. Today. No, thank you very much for having us. No, no, we'll sure. be back on Thursday to deadlift. Don't oh, worry. Great. great. <laughs> thank you very much, Kevin. Okay. We appreciate you. All right. Yeah. I must get that shirt out of my car for you, Kevin. Thanks to Tristan O'Brien, we got this lovely new t shirt. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Till next, next time, time think muscles. muscles. <laughs>